imagine that? And this is a physical universe and just one. There's a zillion other universes like that. So what's your thoughts on that, Tommy? Like, do you believe there's aliens out there? Not not the green aliens, but aliens like different people like us in different galaxies. Do you of believe course. in that stuff? Okay, let, let's get into that a bit. So do you think they're coming within your time? Well, they've always been here. And by the way, you, you, you know how we do drones now? Yeah. Okay, that's the answer to, to the flying saucer. You know, it that's comes what from the spacecraft somewhere. is, a drone. That's got to be it crazy was, coming from your from your age group to see these drones. And even to be yeah. able to do this right now, like we're having a conversation through the internet. You know what I mean? I'm smoking weed with Tommy Chong online right now. Yeah. It's unbelievable, yeah. man. Yeah. And we, that's what I'm saying. And so, yeah, there, there's what, what, what a lot of people think, try to say, you know, are we the most intelligent creatures in the universe? And, and I would say we are uh, definitely unique because one thing about space is that we get enough space that we can uh, be uh, earthlings. We can go through our whole cycle of being a, a human being on earth without coming into contact with anything or anybody because of the enormous amount of space that we have. I, I, I've often thought that this universe that we have is so vast, but there's so many of them that I could believe that this universe that we have belongs only to earth uh, because uh, that's how vast this, this, uh, uh, this physical universe is. Now, that is interesting. Everything there's a, there's a, a what do you call it? Yin and yang. Yep. You can't have one without the other. In a physical world, you cannot have, you can't, there's no such thing as up without down or left without right or good without bad. You see, I, I was, I, I'm a, a biblical scholar of some degree because, you know, of all the spiritual books that I've been, been uh, given, you know, the, the spirits have been given me this like this book by goldsmith uh in, in what's that book, book there it, can you show that book one more time i'm sure there's people who are yeah, going to be interested it, in that it, it, it's called the, the master, master speaks. speaks and it's by joel s goldsmith now this this book here changed my life i i found it back when i was like in my 40s and it what it does really it 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 explains the rules that the Bible, the different Bibles. By the way, uh, every Bible, every religion on, on earth has one thing in common. They all believe in one God. That's what one thing in common. Now, there's a few, uh, like the Hindus, where they have various gods. But there's always one supreme God. One leader, in, in, yeah. And we, we, yeah, we always, and all the religions have it. And, and because of the language and the, and the cultural things, you know, that's where wars come in. You know, where they say, my God's better than yours. <laughs> like the Jewish God was better than, you know, more hipper than the Muslim God. But there's only one God. And, 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 and no matter what you say, God is, is called God. That word, just the word alone, thought of God alone has power, unbelievable power. And 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 if used right righteously, you know, yeah. hallowed be thy name. That's what it says in the, in the in the Lord's Prayer. Hallowed be thy name. In other words, when you think or speak the word God, knowing with hallowed making that word hallowed, now you have in your possession the, the open sesame word. Yeah. Whatever you desire, you know, he will perfect that which, uh, which concerns you. See, that's, I think, I think of religion in a few different ways. Like I think it's great for people because it gives you something to believe in. It gives you something to set yourself standard at the end of every day, you say your words to whoever you want to say them to, whatever God it be. 
And, and that's your belief. You're believing in something greater than you, and I think that's so positive for people to do because at the end of the day, we need to know there's something else out there, right? Do you believe yeah. in that afterlife? Like, do you believe there's something else for Tommy Chong up there? Are you going to be smoking weed with Jesus? Like, come on, Tommy. Do you, do, what's happening in the afterlife? What's your thoughts on that? Of course, of course. Well, to begin with, you don't go back. You can't go back. You know, we're, we're going through space now at 1,035 miles an hour. There's no such thing in going back. You know, hey, just a minute. I got to go back. There's no going back. We're always going forward. So, yeah, yeah. I, my belief is uh, is rooted in, in knowledge. And, and, and the knowledge is, is there life after death? Well, first of all, there's no such thing really as death, you know, as transition. You see? Okay. It's like music. You know, when you quit playing a note, does that note disappear? No. It's there Still to be linger. played whenever you're ready to play it again. It's there, and it'll be there for eternity and beyond. See? And when you talk about God, praying to God, really what you're doing is, is using the word God as a tuning fork. You know, when you hit that tuning fork, it gives you a perfect a C or G or whatever the note is. It's perfect. That's why you can tune your guitar to that tuning fork. And then everybody on the planet can hit that note because everybody on the planet is listening to the same note. You see, there's no a G note for uh, Europe and another G note for uh, Canada or, or the States. No, it's one universal note. And that's why God is universal. You know, it, it, it's, and think of this. How long has music been around? Okay. Jeez. Now, the human race has been here a few million years. Uh, not, not a whole lot. You know, we've evolved from the, the monkeys and the trees and, you know, the crawling. And, and we've evolved into who we are now. Yeah. Uh, now that has it wasn't the first time that has taken place. This has been done forever, for centuries. But remember this: you never go back. You can't go back. You can only go forward. And now you can go back in your mind. You can regress. You can do anything you want in your mind because that's where life is. Life is in your mind. Life is consciousness. That's all it is. Now, you can be conscious in a crippled body, or you can be conscious in a beautiful, gorgeous lady's body. You can be conscious in any kind of body uh, that there is. And, 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 and you can be a shell. You can be a, the only thing you can do is smile. But not even that, like people in, in wheelchairs. But the consciousness is alive. And not only alive, but it, it's, it can travel beyond universes. You see how powerful our minds are? We can go beyond. We can think about eternity and 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 and, and, and still be here. No no problem. Because our and we can travel anywhere 